Hello guys, Nato Ace here, and this is going to be a follow-up on my EVO video. Basically this time around, I want to talk about my personal opinion, impression of Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite. So yeah, believe it or not, I finally bought the game, I gotta give thanks to Cheap Ass Gamer for letting me know that at one point, I guess it was a deal of a day, Best Buy was selling the standard edition for twenty dollars, and I was right. I was right. My hypothesis was right. I said this before that I had a feeling by Ju January 2018, this game somehow will go down to twenty dollars. Not permanently, but you know, if you have the window, twenty dollars. Best Buy did it, bought it. There, then I played it. So now the question is. I, I played the game, what do I think about the game? Okay, so as a lot of people did say, and, and yes, I'm going to go more in depth than what the story demo did, because now I had more time, I had a practice mode, I did uh, trials, I did arcade mode. I haven't tried the story mode yet, but I have heard the story was, well, let's just say it's your usual Capcom anime story. So, what I mean by that is, if you ever watched Street Fighter 2, I think in 1996, the animated movie, I, maybe the American version, maybe the Japanese sub, I have the DVD also. The Street Fighter 2, the one that you get to see Chun Li's boobies, yes. It has that same feeling with this one, from what I heard. Same goes with Street Fighter 5, the story mode there is, it kind of feel like, wow, I'm sort of watching the Street Fighter 2 animated movie. So, story-wise, from what I heard, I haven't tried yet, but they said it is just mediocre at best. It's like your usual anime-type movie story, let's just say that. So I did play the game, played arcade mode as expected, no ending, just beat the game, rank, you unlock a title for your character for online. So, the gameplay, like they said, it is good, so I have to agree, it is good, but to compare it to... Marvel vs. Capcom 3 or Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3. I'd rather have the architect gameplay of Marvel vs. Capcom 3 rather than the infinite, believe it or not. I like the idea of three attack button and one special button and the tag button for your first player uh, play uh, partner one and partner two. I, I like that one more basically Marvel vs. Capcom 2 Marvel vs. Capcom 3 than what they did with Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite, which is the 2v2 and the tag system, now they call it as active switch, and what happened basically is while you're fighting, the guy can just charge in and that was it, but I don't have to make it confusing, it gets, uh, let's just say you can actually drop combo if you're not that good timing wise, uh, how to do it yeah, because I really prefer the one when they, they jump in, like they do like a kick attack in, I like that one, but I don't know, they change a lot of this thing. So, again, it's not that bad. The idea of four buttons. Again, um, they wanted to be simple, but I think I preferred the three attack button and the special button. I mean, kind of like Tatsunoko versus Capcom. I prefer that style versus Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite. I'm not saying it's bad, but I just, uh, it was way too simple, even in my opinion. Because the reason why I like that three type button. It kind of reminds me of Blaze Blue, Guilty Gear, and especially, especially, believe it or not, Dragon Fighters. Yeah, see, that's why when I play this game, I'm like, yeah, I'm not feeling it. It's, uh, uh, yeah, so, I mean, probably could need work. Really, the bottom line is. Couldn't really get back it for the time being, but like I said, as of right now, I'm into Dragon ba uh, Dragon Fighters. I'm having fun more that one than Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite. So again, I bought it for twenty dollars. So uh, with that said, my, my impression if I would give the game, I have to give it as of right now a five out of ten because the gameplay is good. Like a lot of people said. Not best, because I'd rather play the one in Marvel vs. Capcom 3. Graphics is something from Marvel Champions, Fighters or Champion, whatever that mobile game. The graphics, uh, 
Store from what I heard, they said it was mediocre, but if I do watch it, it's probably like I'm probably gonna waste my time, nothing personal. The presentation and the UI, they're not really that dynamic or it's just like you're putting some sort of flash graphics in the game, which is weird. And the worst part here is well the music, yeah, that's bad. The music is really bad. Even for both sides, uh like, it had a feel of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Don't get me wrong. They're not that bad. But putting it in a video game, it's a different story. It's utterly crap. I'm sorry to say. I kind of make a rant about it. So, yeah, now, hearing it some more, I'm like, okay, this is not going to work. And then the worst part here, and everybody knows, is the roster. Not having at least, and that's a key word, at least the X-Men in the Marvel vs. game. It's like saying... You don't, you don't have Optimus Prime in Transformer. You don't have Duke or Ca Cobra Commander in G.I. Joe. Not having the Ninja Turtles in the TMNT. No Mario in Super Mario Brothers. And you got the idea of what I'm trying to say. Yes, and the reason I sort of can understand is if you follow the Marvel and Disney business, yes, Disney owns Marvel. However, when it comes to the movies, they only own the actual Marvel. They don't own X-Men. Well, now they do, but prior to that, they, didn't, they don't own X-Men, Fantastic Four, and in the case with Spider-Man, they hadn't made a deal with Sony Entertainment, Movie Entertainment. So, that's the reason. And, of course, Disney, it may be Mickey Mouse in Disneyland and stuff like that, you know, the magical place, but when it comes to the business side, I hate to say it, they're a bunch of greedy, greedy bastards. There's no joke. Why do I say that? Easy. One. They're trying to erase any acknowledgement of the Fantastic Four in X-Men. Gotta give props to Magus. I learned it from him. Two. Is the Star War. They're whoring it out. They admitted it. That they were whoring out. And yes. I know. But apologies for the word. But it's the truth. They want to make a lot of movies. A lot of franchise. A lot of stuff. Because they need to make money, they need to sell. They gotta sell. That's the reason they the reason they wanna do a movie like every year. And for crying out loud, believe it or not, in twenty seventeen of December, uh Star Wars episode A just finished. Guess what the next Star Wars movie is gonna be on Memorial Day? Yeah, it's a spin off the solo movie. Already, not even a year yet. Within six months you already have another Star Wars movie. I might not agree with that, but again, you know, it kind of show. And then, you know, ah, see, I mean, Disney may be magical place, but at the same time, they're a greedy bastard when it comes to their Eiffel Tower. So, that's the reason with the Marvel. So, what is wrong with Marvel? Technically, why do people, like I said myself, graphic was bad, music was bad, mass sound effects, maybe, the rosters is poor. Really poor without the any X Men. The only thing that's probably a saving grace is the gameplay, the architect. But if you compare it to Marvel vs. Capcom 3, you rather want to play Marvel vs. Capcom 3. There. So that is the reason why this game is not in Evo 2018. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to get there. If people watch the announcement, a lot of people made me, a lot of people gave their thoughts. I'm jumping the bandwagon to some extent as a casual gamer who likes fighting game who and I said it before and I'm gonna say it again not really interested with the FJC I just like to play fighting game I agree that Marvel vs. Kang Infinite is not evil worthy I'm sorry I mean I tried watching the tournament they're boring as you know broccoli I guess I could say I don't know <laughs> making up stuff here as I go I try to watch the Battle of the Stone and it's stupid. It 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 was uh it was stupid. That's all I can say. Uh, it's really a shame about it. Uh, so that's why I can agree with Mr. Wizard Joey Serlar, I think that's his name. Why not Marvel going to be in the main stage? I agree because it's not fun to watch. The game is fun for a while, but you rather just play something else. 
watching even with people with um, uh, like top players, ugh, it just didn't feel right. The active switch was just boring. Oh, you keep switching. Ah, tech, tech, switch. Tech, 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 switch. Like, uh, uh, I'd rather play. I'd rather watch Street Fighter. At least I learned something from Street Fighter, but for Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite, yeah. Uh, it sucked. I mean, even as a casual gamer, it, it, it really is suck. <laughs> so, and then I gotta give props to the Kev crew. Uh, because I was watching event, I went to Event Hub, they basically showcased him. He did a comedy skit about it, but it was spot on. And respect for him is that in the end, he gave his real talk about it, and I agree. So basically what he said in the real talk is, don't give up on the game. If you love Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite, if you're an uber fan, you're loyal to the franchise, still show support, play the game, trying to give reason of why that is really not that bad. It'll be hard, but at least if you have a community banding together to support this game, maybe you'll be in some other tournament. Yes, it won't be in the main stage or Evo, but it's going to be in a side tournament. And that's another thing. The thing from what I heard about the Evo history is that Marvel vs. Games has always been a major role in the event, if it's in the main event in EVO. Ever since Marvel vs. Capcom 2 in the beginning, then Marvel vs. Capcom 3, and then Ultimate's always in every EVO from what I heard. Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3 was at EVO 2017. For the first time in history of EVO, no Marvel vs. game. Instead, you get a much better one in my opinion. Blazebull cross tag battle. And Dragon Fighter Z, and that was the same that, that the Kev crew did, and it was spot on. Basically, the gist of it is each of the his character basically is representing game, and when they say Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite is not in, in tournament, the the guy who represented was basically sad, and in the end he said, "Was well, who's going to replace me with all the flashy combo tag team system, super hyper combo, etc." And then Dragon Fighters comes in. You can have an idea because, even in my personal opinion, Dragon Fighters is a much better Marvel vs. Capcom game than Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite. I'm sorry, but it's the truth. It's the truth. I don't know what to say. So, can Capcom even rectify this? I mean, they did basically in their financial report stated that for, again, I don't know why how, how, how come you have not been doing this since Street Fighter V release to learn quality over quantity quality over quantity Namco Bandai I'm looking at you a different story the gist of it is they're publishing a lot of anime of course they have no dub but a lot of these anime games I can see uh, Deadly Seven Sin looks mediocre I'm sorry Clo Black Clover looks mediocre like oh my gosh like Really, uh, even the one, some of the One Piece game, really like, uh, and I can see why you're not really getting any dub in those games because they're mediocre. I'm sorry to say, and they're publishing more games than quality. It's like quantity over quality. I thought the rule of some is quality over quantity, but I mean, especially Deadly Seven Sin, which is an anime, good anime by the way. So on Netflix, you should check it out. It's a PS4 version of Final Fantasy The City NT. Just saying there, but it's going to be a different story now. So, again, with that said, what the CEO said, quality over quantity. What? Can they still fix Marvel vs. Capcom, in my opinion? And, yes, they can. One, take a break from the game. I mean, push, cut to shove. Take a break from the game. I know it's going to wait a minute. That means they're not supporting it. No, no, I'm not just saying they don't support it. Just take a break. Don't put a lot of stuff in yet. Now that Disney finally acquired Fox, that means they can finally now quote unquote put in X-Men and Fantastic Four, unless Disney are being dickheads. Take a break. Just go back to the drawing board. You don't have to you don't have to overhaul Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite in my opinion. But it needs a rebrand title. Maybe in 2019, and yet, I'm saying this 2019 because I prefer this, they're going to do like a uh, better version, a year and some months, I'm going to say. And, or like they do with Street Fighter V, have a free update. I have to overhaul Marvel vs. Kang Infinite. One, 
the roster. Things short, since Disney finally acquired the X-Men and even the Fantastic Four, finally put them in. Put them in. Second, music. Got, got to remove those crappy MCU music because they're just, they're not good. The Capcom music also, they're not good. If you must, use music from Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3. For crying out loud, Street Fighter 5 has classic music from previous Street Fighter games. Granted, Street Fighter 5 music are better, I love it, versus Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite, their music are like, stupid. Especially the Marvel side, it sounds like something you're watching MCU. I mean, if you're definitely trying to target, and maybe Disney's telling you, just tell Disney kiss my ass, because, you know, they're greedy bastards. Change the music. The gameplay, you gotta fix the gameplay. One, bring back 3v3, not 2, 2v2. It's so simple, it's boring. The buttons. You gotta go back to the three attack and the special. The bottom line is, I hate to say this, the, the graphic improve a bit, but the architect engine, you gotta go back to Marvel vs. Capcom 3. I'm sorry. The gameplay for Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite is just crap. I'm sorry to say, better yet, or I take it back, I take it back. Come integrate two versions. This is like, um, Capcom vs. SNK2 with the grooves. Either have the infinity, the infinite version gameplay, or the ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3 gameplay. Like you choose one or the other style. Like a style. Remember, like in auto or manual. Just like Marvel vs. Capcom or Capcom vs. SNK2. Have two style fighting style, like you have the infinite version fighting style or mode or ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3. Kind of like, like I was trying to say auto or manual, simple or manual, or in Blaze Blue, uh, technical or stylish. There you go. Have that in Marvel vs. Capcom 3. And there should be like ups and downs to it. Second, for crying out loud, I know this game because they're trying to promote Marvel vs. or not Marvel vs. Capcom, excuse me. Marvel Avengers Infinity War. I love the trailer because of the stone. But since it's gonna be past that movie, like I said, 2019 at least. 2018, late 2018, but January 2019 and so on. Get rid of the Power Stone because. or the Infinity Stone. Power Stone is another game. Get rid of that because it's not really working. Miles923 basically said it. It's not working. The Jams Street Fighter Cross Tekken did not work. The Infinity Stone for Marvel vs. Kong Infinity is not working. It's just. I don't even use it. Like, what's the point of it? It's a gimmick. It's a piss poor gimmick. Get, get rid of it. I mean, just for crying out loud, give it to Thanos or Boss Thanos. Have Boss Thanos has it, yeah, yeah, you know, have it, there you go, and then he can have the move, and then, and th there you go. And then in the game, you can unlock him, and then you get to play as Boss Thanos, and he has, like, all those Infinity Gem moves, like, make it a super move. And there you go, like in Marvel vs. Marvel Superhero for the arcade, in 96. I mean, I'm just throwing it out there if you want to make it good. Add in the X-Men have integrate two versions fighting style mode infinite or ultimate let's just say that that's it i'm just throwing out there because i'm probably just talking from my ass here excuse the language put in the x-men and the fantastic four some of the x-men character make the fantastic four like the guinea force maybe you can play as mr fantastic he'll be your doll sim but he has a personal assist something like that oh, for crying out even uh yeah i mean doctor doom bring him back it's like come on man Filipino champ loves Doctor Doom, that's his favorite character in Magneto. So, yeah, I mean, that's all my, a lot of my tip because <laughs> the game as of right now, it sucks. They need to back off with this game. I agree with Max, Miles923. They need to back off to this game at a moment. Focus on Street Fighter V Arcade Edition. Go to the drawing board with this one. Give it a big overhaul. I mean, just add more architect gameplay and um, just improve it like overall 
I mean, any game can be saved if you do it right. But if Capcom decided to say, we're done with this, uh, we can't do this anymore, we don't have the money, etc., etc., and, and that's another thing, because yes, a lot of people have said that the cost of this game, the budget was really piss poor versus a DLC for Street Fighter V, and if that's true, which I kinda agree, because remember 2013, I keep saying this again and again, they never had, a, they didn't have a lot of money in 2013. They had only 2.6 million at the point, at one point, and they couldn't make another game. It, in the long run, Monster Hunter is helping. Monster Hunter World for the PS4 and Xbox One is helping, and I can guarantee flip, I guarantee flipping, yeah. On September, when the PC version comes out in Steam, you're gonna make more money. That's another thing. It allows this company need to basically start considering putting their game on Steam. I might, not, I might be a minority that rather play it on a console or a PS4 to be exact, but Steam, you gotta put a lot of this game on Steam. If it's a delay a bit because you want to make an improvement, understandable, but you gotta put it on Steam because it really, really, that's how you make your money. Not in the console side, the, the computer side, the PC player, a lot of people play your game. Street Fighter V, I think people play it more on the PC versus the PlayStation 4. Just saying there. And I'm a, I'm a Sony supporter. I prefer Sony, but I see the potential of Steam. Or if it's push content, we need a budget, and be, I'm sorry to say, it might be, excuse the language, a dickish move. Make a deal again to Sony, heck, Microsoft, or even Nintendo. Make a deal with them to make an exclusive. I know that's going to be stupid, but if you need the fun, because you don't have the fun yourself, and doing these multi-platforms not working, pick a, pick a hardware company to help you, like Street Fighter V. Reason why it's exclusive to Sony because Sony was funding the game. The deal is Sony funds the game, but they have full control. Yeah, granted, in the beginning kind of sucked, but Arcade Edition, another V blog in the long run, was better. I enjoyed it. So maybe they have to go to that approach to make a deal again to Sony, Microsoft, or even Nintendo. Nintendo! You know, so, yeah, uh. So, uh, yeah, there you go, uh, 22 minutes of it, I know, uh, just a lot of things to say about this game, I can't believe it, I wasn't planning, but, you know me, I ramble too much, because I have no friends, well, 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 I'm just kidding, but, in all seriousness, the game is not dead, in my opinion, there is a lot of supporter to this game, it may not be big, but just show support, as for Capcom, they just need a big overhaul, in, in my opinion, they just need a big overhaul in this game, Fix some of the problem, like I said. Do what, like two style, two like the two style, technical or stylish, like in Blaze Blue, Infinite, Ultimate. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, it might work. I'm just throwing it out there. Bring back the Marvel vs. Capcom 3 style. People will play it. I'm gonna say that. So, so yeah, that's my thoughts about why Marvel vs. Capcom 3, or not 3, Marvel vs. Capcom. I'm sorry rambling too much. Marvel vs. Kang Infinite, why was it on EVO and what I think about it? Yeah, 5 out of 10, I I'm sorry. My impression, uh, I'd rather play Dragon Vite Thursday. So with that, thanks for listening.